Hey guys, we're gonna get right into this look. I ran out of my poor professional primer, so I'm gonna go ahead and go back and use my beloved Becca primer that I use in all my videos. And I'm also going to prime my nose with some eyeshadow primer, so I have an oily nose. Coffee, and I'm gonna use my Infallible Pro Matte Foundation along with the NYX Liquid Illuminator. And I'm just going to blend those together on my skin using my Beauty Blender. I'm just gonna get all the creases and fine lines. More coffee. And now I'm going to do my eyebrows. I have an eyebrow tutorial up for you guys, but I'm going to do an updated eyebrow routine because I did do something a little different with them and they do look better than the last video, so yeah. And I'm going to go in with my Shape Tape from Tarte and we're going to conceal and highlight our face using an e.l.f. blending brush to blend all that in. I love this brush. It's so great. And now we're ready to bake our cheekbones because they need to be snatched. And we're also going to set any places where I put the concealer. I'm also going to bake my nose because I have a really oily nose and I find that this helps to keep it matte throughout the day. And now we're going to go in with our Morphe 350 palette and I'm going to start with the cool brown shade in my crease. It's a nice transition shade to start and I'm just blending that all in because it's all about blending. And now I'm going in with the more warm brown to deepen up that crease and warm up the look a bit. I'm just blending those two together. Now I'm going in with the dark brown shade and I'm focusing on the outer corner in the crease to create that gradient effect. And now I'm going in with my new favorite palette, Modern Renaissance. And I'm going to put the shade Cypress Umber on my lid. They're so pigmented. It's awesome. And I'm just going to blend all of that together. And after that, I mixed the colors Venetian Red and Real Gar and put that in my crease just to warm up the look a little bit more and make sure there's no harsh lines transitioning from the burgundy to the brown. And I'm blending that in. And we're happy about it. <laughs> and now I'm going to take the shade Red Ochre and put that on my lower lash line for a more smoky effect. And we're gonna dust away our excess powder because we don't want to look ashy. And I'm gonna go back in with my Morphe palette and use a gold shade for my inner corner to have some pop of color, some pop of shimmer. Progress, yes. And now I'm gonna go ahead and put on my lashes. I'm using the Double Up Lashes from Ardell. I love them, they're so dramatic. And now I'm just gonna set my face with some True Match Pressed Powder. I'm in the code or color C6. And now I got so excited to contour my face that I hit myself, but we're using my favorite Smashbox Contour Palette to contour. And we're just gonna snatch our cheekbones a little bit more and snatch our nose a little bit more. I love this palette. I've been using it for years now. Now I'm gonna go in and use blush from that same palette and you put it on my cheeks, my forehead, my jaw, my chin, everywhere. And I'm gonna now highlight my favorite part. I'm using two highlighters called Kimberly and Cody from Bahi Cosmetics. Um, they're my new favorite highlighters. Um, Kimberly is a bit more on the red side, so I like to mix it with Cody, which is more gold to give like a rose gold effect. 
and yeah, I'm feeling it in this video. <laughs> Now we're going to go in with our Kat Von D ink liner and make little dots under our eye. Um, I just think it's so cute. And I'm also going to blacken the band of my false lashes so that you can't see it. And we're also going to blend our lashes with the false lashes as well with the Better Than Sex mascara. And yes, it is coming together. All we have left is lips. I'm gonna use a NYX lip liner and line my lips while making sure my Cupid's bow is popping. And we're gonna fill in our lips with that as well. And after that, we're going to use this beautiful lipstick from the Ariana Grande collection by MAC and it's in Viva Glam 1. It's this beautiful plum shade. I love it so much. And we're gonna put that on over our lip liner. And dabbing that in a little bit more. <laughs> Cause it can never be too dark. And to finish this all up, we're gonna set our face with our Urban Decay oil control setting spray because I'm oily <laughs> and that is it for this look I hope you guys like it I know I really do um, all of the products that I use will be in the description box including my new eye color if you haven't noticed and thank you guys for all of your comments and subscriptions and likes I really appreciate it I will have videos up more now and I'm going to try and put them up every week so thank you and I'll see you guys in the next one bye